Hey everyone, I am back with another video, and today I have a special treat. Uh, today is actually Saturday, May 12th, 2018, and I am really excited to give a overview of a brand new add-on for CTS Wardrobe called Rulebook. So Rulebook is a new product that uh, CTS has been developing and it is a tool that works alongside your wardrobe to help automate some of the stuff that you like to do uh, every day. I just did a video that talked about automating things using open collar and gestures and this is really exciting. Uh, I was really super excited to hear that this product was in development because it fits in so well with that last video that I did. I'm not going to give a complete review of this product today. I just want to give everyone an overview. Uh, there's a party for wardrobe users this afternoon where this product will be released. Uh, so I'm super excited to have this video ready to go uh, and give people at least a glimpse into this new product. So let's dive right in. Uh, you'll be able to purchase this product uh, from the CTS main store, like I said, after the party this afternoon. Again, May 12th, 2018 is when this is being recorded and when the product will be released. Uh, and when you buy the product, it's going to um, come to you in a box, uh, wardrobe rulebook. You want to make sure that you have your wardrobe HUD on already because this is, like I said, an add-on to this product. So let's go ahead and res it out. We'll open it up. And once you have it opened, you can get a folder. And inside there will be this rulebook, which you're just going to wear. So I'm going to add that to my avatar. And as soon as I do, it's actually going to start the process of installing this for me. And you can see uh, it's kind of hidden in my body there because of the way I'm sitting, but it actually will run through and it will tell you the progress of as it goes through. So while we're waiting for this to complete, uh, I want to mention that this add-on will need to be kept. You'll want to keep this in your inventory because anytime you need to get a redelivery of the HUD or there's an update of the HUD, you're going to need to go through and reinstall this add-on uh, into your HUD. It basically is replacing a couple of scripts and adding some new scripts to enable this functionality. Uh, when you see this green hover text over the book that you're holding, that means the install is successful and complete. So you can go ahead and detach this product. And we're set to go. Now there's no real uh, noticeable changes in Second Life to your wardrobe HUD. It basically stays the same. But if we jump over to my actual wardrobe, once you've purchased the product, you're gonna see this brand new button up here on your toolbar called Rulebook. And this is where uh, the magic happens, as they say. So when I click on Rulebook, it's gonna open up this brand new window. And basically you can create a uh, a rule set, which is a collection of rules that you can run. Now you can create, I believe, up to 10 rule sets. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, and you can have any one rule set active at a time. Uh, so that's important to note. You won't be able to have multiple rule sets active at one time, but you can create multiple ones. So if, for example, you are a role player and you want to have a certain set of actions that are available to you when you're in a particular type of role play. Maybe you have a fantasy role play and a science fiction role play, and you want to be able to do different things in both. You could create two separate rule sets and have one or the other of them active at any time. I just created one called daily rules for things that I want to maybe have happening all the time. Uh, and then once you have a rule set created, you're going to add rules to it. Now, there's no specific limit on the number of rules. There's just a, a text-based limit on how many that Second Life can work with at a time. So you don't want to have too many rules in each one, uh, but certainly you can add uh, a few to them. And let's go ahead and just click Add Rule really quick, and I'll show you what this looks like when you create a new rule. So basically, rules are... Um, sort of like if-then statements. So if a particular condition occurs, take some, some actions. Or when a particular condition occurs, do these actions. So what are the conditions? So there's all sorts of ones. When I finish teleporting, when I enter a specific region, when I leave a specific region. Or even more granular, when I enter a specific parcel on a specific region. Um, or any parcel at all. There's lots of different options here. And like I said, we'll go through all this in detail in the future entering my land, leaving my land, reaching a certain altitude, um, certain situations, if I'm in water. So if you want to have your um, your pool floaty come on anytime you enter into the water, or your bikini come on anytime you enter into the water, or a specific swim AO HUD, you could do that on land, in the air, standing, sitting, stop sitting, crouching, flying, and so on. There's all sorts of different options. Uh, interaction, when you hear a particular message, when you're near somebody, when you're not near somebody. 
um, for sailors, I think that's probably the only one who really cares about wind strength, maybe flyers as well. Uh, wind strength, time of day, wall clock time. So there's lots of different options for when things can happen. And then there's lots of different things you can do. Put on an outfit and wardrobe. Put on a random outfit with a particular set of tags. Take something off. Take off the last worn outfit. Take off everything except your base outfit. Out output a particular message. This is useful if you have other scripted objects that you want to say. Uh, just say something uh, in local chat or to somebody. Whisper something or execute an RLV command if you're used to those. So there's lots of different options here. Uh, and like I said, we'll try to deep dive into these in a future video. But for now, I just wanted to show you, I created a couple of these here. Um, and, and once you do create some, what you need to do is you need to choose your rule set and choose send rules to HUD. And like I said, remember, you can only have one active at a time. So if you have multiples, you may need to come in here when you're going to a particular role play sim, for example, and choose send rules to HUD. All right, so those were successfully sent to the HUD. And I'll choose okay. Now, if we go back into Second Life, I should get a message here in local chat that tells me it's activating that particular set of rules, which I did. And I created a rule that basically says when it hears red alert in local chat to go ahead and arm myself up. So I'll go ahead and type in red alert. And here it goes. It takes a second. But in this case, let me go ahead and stand up. It should be putting on my pistol and it should put on my glowing shield of redness. <laughs> so kind of goofy, but I just wanted to show something really quick that would be easy to, to put on. Um, so you can really do anything with this. I mean, it's it's great for role play. Let me get myself turned around here. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's great for role play options and so on. I'm having a hard time getting lined up. There we go. Uh, great for role play options and, and things like that. The other rule I created was when I fly, to go ahead and put on some wings. So I actually put in a little text command here that says I'm flying. I was doing that mostly so that I knew uh, for testing that it was happening. And it does take a second here, but there we go. There's my wings. And it's actually gonna put on, or it should put on my wing animation HUD there as well. Yeah, so now I can fly around. I have my wings on. And when I land and stop flying, it's gonna take my wings off for me and get rid of that HUD as well. So that's rulebook, and that's what it does. Uh, I'm super excited to see what people uh, can do with this. Um, I think there are an awful lot of possibilities, not just for role players, but for people in general. Um, and uh, I'll be curious to hear your feedback and uh, and talk with you in the group about the ways that you think uh, rulebook is um, makes a good fit. So that's rule book. Again, we'll do another video in the future that sort of deep dives into some of the other options and what it can do and how those actually work and function. And as people come up with cool, clever ways of working with this, we'll try and showcase some people's ideas uh, on the channel. I uh, hope you enjoy rule book. You can pick it up today uh, after May 12th um, at the CTS main store. And I hope to see everyone at the party later. And um, of course, if you're watching this video in the future, you missed the party, but make sure you join the CTS group and, uh, and attend one of the next parties. They're a lot of fun. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to everyone soon.